origins of its existence have been found since the Vedic period. In fact, the theoretical concepts and the technicalities of Bharatnatyam are based on Natya Shastra, which is called the Fifth Veda or even the Natya Veda, which was written by Acharya Bharat Muni. Bharatnatyam originated from Tanjore or the Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu. Initially, it was known as Sadir or Sadiratam and it was exclusively performed by the Devadasis. The Devadasis were the young females who had pledged their entire lives in the service of God. Hence, their dance was an intrinsic part of almost all the rituals of South Indian temples. During those days, the Devadasis were highly respected by the Indian society. But with the advent of the British colonial rule, an anti-dance movement was launched, which resulted in a ban on all the dance forms of India. And like other art forms, Bharatnatyam too suffered a huge setback. This ban was opposed by reformers like E. Krishna Iyer, Srimati Rukmini Devi Arundel, T. Bala Saraswati, who managed to push the frontiers of Bharatnatyam, brought it out of the temples to a much wider audience and made it a mainstream art form. Bharatnatyam has managed to survive against all odds and now it's been performed internationally by artists irrespective of their nationalities. As art lovers or artists, you and me also have this responsibility to make sure this legacy is carried forward and we hand over this precious art form to our future generations. Namaskar.